Okay, so today I'm going to share with you how to sing a really long phrase without breaking in the middle for breath. So the first thing you want to do is warm up your voice. You want to warm up all of the muscles that help you sing. And you can do that in this video that I'll post around here somewhere. <laughs> so make sure you warm up first using the video that was around here somewhere. Then what you can do is an exercise called puffy cheeks. So in the warm up video, I do warn you, I do say that singing exercises often look and sound funny, but in all honesty, if you wanna be a singer, I'm sorry, you just gotta get over it. <laughs> that is the truth, because all of these exercises that look and sound funny, they work, and that's the most important thing. The most important thing is that they work and you're looking after your voice and you're training properly. It doesn't matter what they look or sound like. So, with puffy cheeks, you've got to imagine that you're a hamster and you've stuffed lots and lots of stuff in your cheeks, but it's actually just air. So pull puffy cheeks like that. And then what you want to do is start expelling air. Now what you're doing is you're creating resistance because you've got all of this air stored up but a very, very small amount of space for it to get out. So you want to create resistance. Now when you do that, you should start to feel your core engaging. So I'm going to stand up now so that you can see what my tummy is doing. Okay, so hopefully you can see me all right here. I've tried to wear a fairly tight top so that you can see what's going on. <laughs> So, when you do puffy cheeks, I'm going to put my hands there so you can see what's going on. You breathe. So, what you can see there is that I'm breathing from my tummy. As I say in the warm-up video, you breathe from your tummy, not from up here. If you breathe from up here and then try and do it, you're all tense and everything and nothing's going to work properly because you're not relaxed. So you need to relax and make sure that you breathe from your tummy. And then at the end of the phrase, you want to make sure you splat. So that singers, please let go of abdominal tension, splat. <laughs> you've got to do that. So when you're breathing, you breathe from your tummy and you breathe out. Hopefully you saw that okay. I'll go to the other side as well. So that's what breathing looks like from the side. So you can put your hands on your tummy to make sure that you can feel the muscles working in that way. So that's the breathing that you want to see. And what that feels like is you're breathing in and expanding the, the tummy and then all of your muscles from your pelvic floor up, up to around here, are all pulling up to where your bra strap is or would be if you don't wear one, <laughs> up to that level. So you're pulling everything up to there as the phrase progresses. Now, what Puffy Cheeks does is it really makes those muscles work even harder than they have to when you're singing. So you get a really good feel of what your muscles are doing and your muscles can learn how to control the breath even more than you would actually need when you're singing. Because when you're singing, hopefully your mouth is open wide enough to at least get two fingers in. You want your mouth open at least that wide. That is what you need. So obviously when you're singing consonants or some vowels, you can't be quite as open, but you're aiming for that kind of openness. Okay, so if we imagine that the phrase you want to sing, let's say it's a simple scale, yes, that goes over and over. So, ah. Uh, example. So the way that I would practice that is I would practice it on puffy cheeks. That is the best way to practice a really long phrase because it makes your tummy work even harder. And then when you can do that phrase on puffy cheeks, you know you can definitely do it when you're singing. So let's try it on puffy cheeks. Your 
tummy really has to work hard to make sure that it's supporting, you can feel it more because you're creating that resistance. And if you go as long and as long and as long as you can, you're just training your muscles to be able to do however long the phrase is when you're singing. So that is how I train a long phrase. I do puffy cheeks, I make sure that my tummy is supporting me and I make sure I can feel what's going on. But if you wanna be able to feel that even more, there's something else you can do. So the other thing you can do is lean over onto something. This could be the arm of your sofa, it could be onto a table, it could be on the side of a bath, it could be anything. But if you lean over and you let gravity take your tummy down when you breathe, you're then needing to keep it up and keep the muscles supported and keep your voice supported even more than you are when you're standing up. And it means that you can just feel what the muscles are supposed to be doing even better when you get into that nice centered feet shoulder width apart standing position that is best for singing. So I'm going to set up the camera now so that you can see what I mean. Hey, so I've got my desk here and hopefully you'll be able to see this okay, but this is what I mean. So you're keeping your back nice and straight. You've got your arms on the table and then you can see here the tummy. You'll be working against gravity. So when you breathe, it really makes you feel that you're pulling everything up, you're working harder. So then when you do finally come to the standing position, you'll be able to feel, really feel what your muscles are supposed to be doing in order to support that long phrase that you want to sing. So that's another way of being able to feel your muscles and train them really well, ready to sing really long phrases. So another quick thing I feel like I should just mention is a bit of biology. So just making sure that you can feel the transverse abdominis across there and you've got your internal and external obliques. Now these muscles really hold you like a corset when you are singing. And it means that the more work that these muscles do to support your voice, the less work your voice has to do. So the more that your core is supporting your voice and your larynx and your breath, the less work this has to do, the less tired you get, you'll be able to sing for longer and your voice will be healthier. So that's why it's so important to really focus on your breathing and to know what's going on in your core while you're singing. Okay, so that is how I train to sing long phrases in my training. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Please do remember to like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.